What it is? What's up? We got Teen Talk in the cup. Woo woo! What's up, Teen Talk family? It's your host, Miss KK, here with the legendary Ajane Jacole and Eden Abibi, Anaya Hay, and Skylar Jordan. Thank you all for tuning into our show. We have a lot of interesting topics lined up for today. Before we get started, let's hear some of Miss Nikki's success stories for this week. So, Ajane, tell us a little bit about a success you've had. So a success that I've had this week, I've seen some returns on some financial investments that I've done. And um, I put in a lot of research before I just invested. So to see that return is like very amazing. As you should. <laughs> that must feel so good. Because honestly, it's almost, I don't want to say a gamble because it's not really, I don't really feel like it's gambling when you do put in so much time into it, but it is almost like a, you know, it's, it's a risk. It's a risk yeah. that you definitely have to take. What about you, Eden? Have you had any successes this week? Yes, this past week, I just had my first job interview at Dutch Bros. So that was pretty exciting. Dutch Bros. <laughs> yeah. What made you choose that? Well, I just I, love that. I love their energy you know they're super talkative and everything hey. so I feel like I, I that, that's the easiest thing for me to do just talk to customers that's awesome so you picked a job that's almost perfect for your you know your personality and your type that's amazing because I always like my cousin she works for Starbucks and one of the things that I'm scared of is like making somebody's drink and forgetting stuff or like I just I feel like it's so many ingredients you have to remember so that's awesome for you guys because I could probably never do that what about you Sanaya I learned that this week my college university will be opening up in the fall of 2020 VSU so I'm super excited to go back or to go (laughs) (laughs) but you like I already been there I'm ready to go back this is my school I I love all that energy and how excited you are because that's amazing, especially going out of state. Have you been to Virginia before? No, I was supposed to go last spring break to visit the college. It's like, mm-hmm. college is like on faith right now and <laughs> online pictures. News. <laughs> so, right. Yeah, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope when you go there, it's everything you expected. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. What about you, Skylar? Um, my biggest success this week um, was I got to do an individual graduation ceremony at my school. So it was kind of nice to be able to walk across the stage, even if there was yeah. nobody else in the audience. So, Well, that's awesome. I'm glad that they actually pulled that through for you because I've seen others where it's almost like a drive through um, graduation. And I do feel like it's a lot different when you actually step out and you do walk across that stage because uh, when you graduate, it is more of a personal kind of reaction yeah. and feeling. So even mm-hmm. though the big crowd wasn't there, you still had, you know, your family and you have people taking your pictures so it's almost just as special so yeah. that's awesome I'm glad you were able to experience that because I know that's something that I was looking forward to my entire senior year yeah. so and you know just to share a little bit of my success this week um, I am gearing up for fall semester for my sophomore year in college and you know we waiting for that money that financial aid package <laughs> and Woo-hoo! I can say that I have gotten um, one of the scholarships I have been waiting on so that was that was a good you know feeling that was amazing <laughs> I love that Thank you, thank you. So congratulations on all your successes. Remember to celebrate even your small successes every day and throughout the week. So it's time to get the teens talking. When it comes to teens applying for jobs, they're not very knowledgeable on where to look. The number one question they all ask is where do I start? Teens often think that applying to malls is the best route to go, but it's not. In fact, getting a job at the mall is hard when you have thousands of teens thinking the same, just like you are. What was the hardest part about finding a job for you, Ajane? I think the hardest thing was not to lose and cur- like to not be discouraged because um, the very first job that I had was an intern at the radio station. And it's okay. kind of like, I feel like God directed me there because I kept applying for places like Domino's and like the mall, like you said, and just all these <laughs> other places. But it's like, no, that's not my element. So it was kind of, you know, it was kind of yeah. geared, like fate kind of brought me to it. I love that. And to not just get discouraged, because I can say that 
I, um, the first time I applied to any job was, it was the mall. I, I did start with the mall first. Uh-huh. Everybody said it was fun. I went, I tried to go to Meadows Mall. That didn't work out. So the next one that everyone usually does for their first job is McDonald's. So I applied to McDonald's. Long story short, I'm over McDonald's. <laughs> it's not the best <laughs> thing out there. And um, now that I have already been through my few jobs and interviews, um, I'm going back into the job pool and searching for something else. And I will say trying not to d- get discouraged is what's going to keep you getting a job because it, it is so easy to just one week and apply to 10 different jobs and then just expect one of them to call you. But Sometimes that's yeah. not their thing. You do just have to keep applying, keep applying, keep applying. Don't just, you know, put all your money into one job and one response back. What mm-hmm. about you, Sanaya? What was hard about applying for a job or if you have ever applied for a job? Yeah, definitely that rejection. Either they're not calling back or they're like, oh, I don't know, maybe you're not the right fit for this. So definitely just handling that and knowing that you still have something to offer, something to give. And that the world is still out there in terms of jobs. Right now, I'm training for a certification at the Nevada Help Desk, which is open to anyone to um, earn a tech certification. And then they're able to work there once they're finished with their certification. And the certification is paid for, and you're earning like a minimum 17 to 23 an hour just to work with them. What job is this? The Nevada Help Desk. If you go to nevada.org or nevadahelpdesk.com and you're into tech, or um, graphic design, media art, social media. I definitely want you to apply for that because it's amazing. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to be taking in that plug because everything you just said is something I'm looking for. That's amazing that they do that for you. Um, What about you, Eden? I know that you're working for Dutch Bros, as you said. What do you think, where do you think teens should apply for their first job? Do you think there's a set place? um, I feel like... It's really um, just anything you're passionate about sometimes, like it shouldn't just be for the money, but like work somewhere where you're going to love it. I don't think you should work somewhere where you're going to be dreading every second um, and like waiting until your shift ends, but somewhere where you enjoy, where you like the environment and the people. I like that. So basically just let your, not necessarily the money or the actual type of job, but more of just how you feel there you know, right. dictate where you apply. That's actually a very good rule because I think a lot of us just go on websites and maybe Indeed and just look up jobs instead of actually going to the job place and being like, oh, it's nice here. Let me talk to the manager. Let me apply. I think that's a yeah. very, yeah. not necessarily an old school type of way of thinking, but I do think it's something that a lot of us forget that we can just go up to these jobs and feel out the environment, feel out the employees a little bit instead of getting the job and then feeling stuck because mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the worst feeling as well. Azade, I want to ask you, how much do you think is the minimum wage in Nevada? Isn't it 825 now? No. I, it's not? No. I, that's that's a little low. That's a, that's too low. It's okay. been raised. It has? Okay, if it's not 825, I'm going to say 925, no higher than that because I remember at a point minimum wage was like six twenty five or something like that. So in in the state of Nevada, I kid you not. So Okay, I I would say according to this document that I am that I am on, the minimum wage in Nevada is ten dollars. And do not quote me on this, but I do remember I want to say about last year that they did raise it to ten dollars because when I was actually working for the last McDonald's I worked for, I do remember them actually changing how much we were getting paid back to ten dollars. Um, wow so yeah what about you Sanaya do you have any thoughts on the the wages in Nevada because that 625 threw me off <laughs> first of all who, who can live off 625 is my question <laughs> who um I think maybe a middle class like higher class teenager maybe but for us um at least for myself who's middle income that's, that's, that's kind of nothing but um, it goes on six point. It goes from ten dollars. It's supposed to increase to fifteen dollars over the next five years, based off of what we've been doing in YPP. Um, right. Eden and Skyler were part of this, and we traveled to Carson City last year to um, lobby and legislate for the fifteen minimum. What wow. fifteen? That's awesome. If that was the minimum, I think I believe. Yeah. 
I don't know if that's the minimum out in California, but I do remember when I would go out and visit family that I would see like different signs of like $18, $18 an hour. And I would think that's amazing. But then my um, my relatives would have to tell me like, no, it's not it's not that good because, you know, the, the cost of living like weighs it out. So even though 18 out there is amazing for us and we would live out there, it wouldn't be too amazing. And thank you my, for the production assistant has let us know that it was $8.25, but it will be $9 in July. So that's something to look forward okay. to. You know, if we're about to be employed out here in Vegas, minimum is going to be $9. So that's amazing. We get in somewhere. <laughs> we get it. We get in somewhere. It's not 10, but it's, it's nine. It's Progress. still good. Progress. Um, Skylar, I would like to ask you, so where do you think teens should apply for jobs? And what is the benefit of having a job as a teenager? So I would say, number one, apply where you're comfortable, because um, the first job that I had, I was an intern at a nonpartisan organization called uh, Make It Work Nevada, which is an organization that um, helps uh, the social justice issues for black women and black families. So we deal with um, economic justice, um, racial inequality, um, affordable childcare, um, things of that nature. And that was really helpful for me because it was kind of in my lane. It was, they were talking about issues that I was dealing with and it made me learn a lot about the world and, and about the world that um, the, the laws that I had to be following and what they actually meant and things like that. So it was a really educational job, but I would say if you're a teenager who is trying to get a job, um, go to a social justice organization first, because number one, if you're trying to get money, the social justice organization is probably going to be the one saying that, oh yeah, we everybody should get $15 an hour. So they're probably wow. going to pay. Okay. So there's that. And then you also need to take the time to kind of educate yourself and about the world and about laws and government and things like that, the issues that you face in volunteering with and interning with and working at an organization like that is really, really helpful for you um, because that way you're learning, you know, you're getting paid, you're doing actual work and you get to have mm -hmm. really cool experiences and not a lot of people get to do, um, you know, going up to Carson City to lobby and, you know, meeting your legislators, meeting senators all that stuff like you get introduced to a lot of opportunities so I think that's a really good place for you to that start does. And that sounds awesome yeah so and it's definitely like you said it's definitely things that you can take you know far beyond just that one job you know those one skills for that one job it's things that you can apply to everything else um so Naya I wanted to ask you what advice can you give teens for trying to juggle going to school and at the same time working a job some advice, at least from my experience, put school first and make sure you get your grades, your academics done, cleared, you know your stuff before you even go to a job. Because I do believe education is more important, but this is only for my situation. But to balance it, it's like you need to decide whether with school, are you going to do extracurricular activities, which could um, possibly inhibit you from getting scholarships if you do just put off for a job. So just balancing out what's more important to you, because I know a lot of scholarships do look at extracurriculars, hours put in volunteers, hours put in for consideration for these big scholarships. Um, but I guess job experience is good for the now and for the um, current situation that you're in. So it's just learning about what's important to you and what you need. Yeah, that's awesome. Priorities, what's coming first. And I will say I can testify to that um, going into my second year of college. When you do enter college or any university, um, the scholarships become a lot more competitive than it was when you were a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. The extracurriculars, how much you participate in your, you know, your actual university or college that you're at does pay, you know, to those even those scholarships that you get from the actual school, they will impact that. And being able to figure out your priorities will better allow you to organize your schedule with your job. And hopefully you have a flexible job where they are you know, compassionate and understand the things that you are doing in your life. And I also wanna ask you, Eden, now that you're going to be you know, freshly employed, what are some things that you are, I wanna say, um, 
struggling with or maybe some advice that people have given you about, you know, starting your first job, things to look out for and things that you need to do to make it successful? Um, well, they because it's summer, I don't really have to worry about school and everything. But mm -hmm. if I do continue, you know, like to obviously put everything else ahead, because I'm really involved in school, I'm going to be like my student council's class president next year. I'm oh, an ambassador. That's I'm awesome. really involved. And uh, I just have a lot of things going on in um, basketball as well. So just have my priorities set and um, to make sure I don't lose that because many people like right when they turn 16, they get their job, you know, they're able to be employed. They just go down in their um, work and just, I mean, not work, but like school and extracurricular. So they've all, everyone's telling me just to stay focused in school because that's going to be the most important part right now. Mm -hmm. And um, also just to, take it easy because sometimes it's very like a lot of pressure you know trying to get into the flow of everything it's really different environment really different place especially like at Death Bros you know it's super busy all the time and yeah there's a lot of pressure so yeah just take it easy don't be too hard on yourself that's that's great advice definitely don't be too hard on yourself I think if, if we can leave anything with this conversation is that if you're a teenager out there looking for a job make sure you just look in places that other teenagers aren't looking for because the pool will be a lot smaller and you'll be able to get a lot more benefits that way look for a job not just because you need the money but because you actually enjoy the environment that yeah. will make you stay longer because I know someone who has had I want to say like 10 jobs in about three, <laughs> in almost like three years. Uh, <laughs> so it's very important not to try to just go from job to job to job because the paycheck is good and just have fun. Take it easy. You know, we're young. We can work. We got the time. Is there anything else that you guys would like to add to this conversation before we head out? Nope. I think you made some good points, Kayla. Not for me. <laughs> I mean, if you like swimming, be a lifeguard yeah. if you like talking on the phone join the telephone service you know pretty yeah simple, if like you that. like mcdonald's you should probably work at mcdonald's i feel like See? that works just match yep. your job with your personality and most importantly don't get discouraged just yep. do not dis get discouraged keep applying keep going for those jobs that you guys love now, that's all we have for today. Thank you all for tuning into the Teen Talk podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at TeenTalkVegas881. And also check us out on TeenTalkVegas.com. It has been a wonderful conversation with you ladies. Have a great Saturday. Thank you all for tuning into our YouTube channel. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at TeenTalkVegas881. Stay tuned for more Teen Talk after this.